perform a heart exam, what I'll be doing is I'll be going over the anatomic locations of the different valve locations. And then I'll also be going over uh, the different techniques. So to begin, I'm going to find the pulmonic valve. The pulmonic valve will be located in the second intercostal space, just next to the sternum, so parasternally on the right side. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be palpating for the sternal angle or the angle of Louis. If my jugular notch is approximately here, I'm going to palpate down until I can feel the elevation in the sternum. That is going to be where ribs two come in from each side to connect. So I know that the second intercostal space is uh, just lateral and slightly inferior. So I'd place my stethoscope in the second intercostal space. This is going to give you the best picture for the aortic valve location. Uh, likewise, so once you've done the aortic valve, then you're going to move on to the pulmonic valve. And the pulmonic valve is going to be in the location, second intercostal space, parasternally to the left side of the patient now. Next, the third location I'm going to look for is going to be herbs point. While we were in the second intercostal space there, we're going to move down an intercostal space to find the third intercostal space, which is going to be herbs point. Herbs point can represent the second uh, pulmonary valve location. So next, we're going to move on to the tricuspid valve. While this was the third intercostal space, left parasternal, we're going to move on to the fourth intercostal space, left parasternal. So approximately right there. And again, we're going to be listening for the tricuspid valve in this location. And then finally, we're going to move on to the mitral valve. And the mitral valve is going to be located in the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. So if this is the patient's clavicle right there, we're going to bisect it in half, draw an imaginary line down the patient's chest to the fifth intercostal space, which is right there. And we're going to listen to the mitral valve. An interesting note is that the mitral valve location is approximately the location of the apical impulse, or the PMI, the point of maximum impulse. So if you feel for the patient's point of maximum impulse, using a whole hand approach, you should feel a slight elevation, about a dime size, um, approximately below the left nipple. And that is going to be roughly your mitral valve location. Next, I'm going to flip my stethoscope around to the bell, because the bell can pick up different sounds. And again, I'm going to go in reverse order this time and listen to all different locations. That's the basics of the normal heart exam.